A 14-year-old dead after a shooting and police have released his name. Community activists say consistent prevention efforts are key in finding a solution. And it is our top story at 6. Thank you for joining us. I'm Sherry Jones. And I'm Siobhan Klepfer. Lansing police have released the name of the 14-year-old shot and killed this weekend. Jaquez Moy Young was shot on Saturday near the 1400 block of Oakland Avenue. Rachel Ramsey spoke with gun violence prevention advocates on this issue. She's here for you now with their reaction to what happened. Happened. Yeah, Sherry Siobhan, this is the fifth homicide in Lansing so far this year. The Lansing School District confirmed Moy Young was a student at Lansing Schools, and the advocates I spoke with say the issue of gun violence is something that needs year-round attention. An entire community is losing very young people on both ends of this. Erica Lynn says it's devastating to hear that another life was taken by gun violence and just 14 years old. They're not really grown up yet. They're not even really teenagers yet. And when something like this happens, you just feel like you didn't really even get a chance with them. The shooting happened Saturday around 3 p.m. Police say they got a call for shots fired. When they arrived at Oakland Avenue, they found Jaquez Moy Young shot. He was pronounced dead at a hospital. You want all of the kids in our community to be safe and healthy and alive. Um, and right now we're far too often that's not happening in Lansing. Lynn says Lansing is a tight knit community where everyone knows each other. So when moving forward from something like this, it's important to heal, but not forget. We have to remember history. We have to remember where we came from. We have to remember that this is, you know, that's why it's called cyclical and retaliatory gun violence. You know, it is a cycle. And so we have to continue to be strategic intentional and we've got to be consistent and really stay in there regardless of the ebbs and flows of the violence in our city. How can we prevent shootings like this from happening? Lynn says this is a layered question and that's why her group Lansing 360 meets to find solutions. There's an old saying um, that says, you know, if there are children being thrown in the river, at what point do we go upstream and figure out why they're falling in? Well, we're meeting weekly and we're going to figure out strategies, solutions and resources so that we don't have to be reactive every time something like this happens. And I was just in touch with Lansing police who say no arrests have been made yet and they do not believe this was a random act. An investigation into the situation and what led up to it is ongoing. Back to you.